Hello and welcome. This is Darius Barasande, host of the U.S. Revolution. And if you're about to watch this amazing session that we did, then you're part of a group of humans on this planet who are ascending and moving into a higher frequency. You're not here by accident, and I'd like to offer you a special gift that will help you to adjust to some of these frequencies, plug in even deeper, and it's an energy activation MP3 that will double the power of your energy field in less than 57 seconds. It's absolutely free, and it's the first link in the description down below, but it's also gonna let you get to hear calls like this one live and get daily help from healers, teachers, and masters all over the world. It's absolutely free, and it's part of what we're doing every day at UAuth Revolution. So if you feel called in your heart, you can click the link down below, and the special session that you wanted to watch and experience will start right now. And I've got to say that before I really started plugging into that, um, there was a lot of struggle and mm -hmm. a lot of things not working out. Relationships, marriage, one marriage, a um, lot. And everything changed at some point when I finally started listening to the messages. And I want to talk about that and the messages because you had a similar experience in your life and, and for people that don't know you or aren't familiar with your work take us back to how this all opened up for you and how you plugged in yeah well it's absolutely true because i was one of those people that i thought bad luck followed me everywhere and why things don't mm. work out for me and it really did change my life completely turned around when i started tuning into and expressing my intuitive gifts and that led me on a path to reclaiming all these past life gifts of uh, numerology, which I believe is a past life gift. Um, I have a lot of evidence in that, but um, numerology and astrology and connecting with my guides and angels and helping other people do that. And as I started opening up to what my gifts were and truly being myself, because I, I really... 100% believe the key to happiness is to be yourself. And that's scary because we're taught that being yourself is risky. <laughs> you should be like everybody else, one blueprint, which is not true. We have a unique blueprint. It's a divine blueprint. And we have clues for those blueprints in our birth chart, in our name, the letters of our name, our astrology, all of this. And, and you know, it's funny. If you look at my astrology chart and my numerology chart, it's all about synthesizing um, information and often esoteric information and making that very easy and palatable for, in a practical way for, um, for everyone to understand. And that's exactly what I do. And I also have a lot of planets in the 12th house, which is the house of psychic energy and also the mm. subconscious mind. And that's what I do. I help reprogram the subconscious mind. But I had to reprogram my subconscious because... The 12th house is also known as the house of troubles and the house of bad luck because your subconscious is where you hold all of those past life memories uh, and fears and expectations. And, and, and once you clean that up, that changes your energy field and it changes your life. It's not just what we think. It's all that that's in our subconscious as well. And so um, that was my path. And then... You know, in retrospect, looking at my chart, once I learned about all this stuff, I was like, what? <laughs> How is yes. this encoded? It's like, it's, a, it's like a treasure map to happiness and fulfilling our life purpose. It's, it's a treasure map that we're given. And it's amazing to see how everything is shown to us through our intuition, through all the patterns as you were talking about, through our messages and symbols that we receive. It's just we need to have the courage to be ourself and to listen. And um, thankfully, we are given tools to help us understand our true nature. Okay. Hmm. Where would your life be if you hadn't uncovered this? Oh, God. I don't even want to think about it. Sometimes I, I'm, I'm so grateful for my own courage sometimes in, in – um, allowing myself to be myself but um it's almost like you know what it is with destiny it's like 
and what our gifts are and what we're meant to do, it's almost like our guides and our angels won't let us not do it. They're like, are you done suffering? Listen already. You know? okay. <laughs> so okay. it's like yeah. Yeah. I can't even imagine it, but I, I, I – it's it's almost unfathomable because I I'm literally like a different person. I I I was definitely not a happiness coach. I'll put it to you that way. Like I I was depressed. I was majorly majorly mm. majorly depressed. I always had a smile on my face though, and uh, you know like a lot of um uh I did a lot of comedy uh, a lot when okay. I was in theater, and like a lot of comedians and people who do that, you know, there's that side that that wasn't you know feeling delightful all the time. Yeah. Um, thankfully, my insides match my outsides now. Um, so that part's really great. But I, I honestly, I can't imagine um, if I if I didn't listen to the call, if I didn't allow myself to be myself and do what I'm meant to do. Um, it, it's, it's really the universe will keep showing you when you're not listening to yourself because when things are closed off for you, that's, that's you not listening to your true nature. That's you not allowing yourself to express your unique gifts. Yeah. Was there a day that you can think back to or a moment that was like the rock bottom, you know, when you were putting on the happy face and not really uh, living your truth, living a, that destiny? It's not a day. It's years. Like, I could mm. remember years like that and, and, and horrible experiences like and sometimes scary experiences, things that will curl your hair because it must be why my hair is so curly. But um, <laughs> because uh, <laughs> because I wasn't um, grounded in my body, and that leaves you vulnerable to all kinds of energy. And so I'm very much about staying grounded and yes. um, filling my uh, light and my chakras and my aura with light because that keeps me protected and because I was an empath and am an empath very empathic you can imagine too I was doing theater right and so I didn't know how to protect myself from energy and there I was in front of like hundreds of people every night oh, like yeah. totally <laughs> like exposed energetically and picking up in from and I grew up in New York I grew up in a very busy place so I was constantly picking up energy Mm. from other people and it wasn't always positive energy so when um and this is another reason i'm very passionate about um, cleansing your aura and your chakras because that is what um also helped me change my life because i didn't realize i, I was such a sponge and 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 how to manage that energy and so when you start attracting other people's negative energy you just keep attracting more of it and so in, in simple aura hygiene, <laughs> you know, I practice good aura hygiene. And so that helps me stay positive and uplifted and in my own energy every day. Um, and before I had those tools and before I was aware of that, I was just um, kind of a negative energy sponge, you know, because in, in big cities like that and, and, um, and, and, you know, once you start attracting negative energy and once that's in your energy field, you keep attracting more of it. So it's really important to keep your energy clear, and that that's one thing I do every day as well and love to share with people as well. Yeah. It, you know, it's interesting. There's so much changing on the planet, and there's so much energy shifting, and there's still a lot of polarity right now. Mm -hmm. This is a huge thing for people to really keep in mind as they go through their life and their day. Uh, let's talk a little bit about um, numerology and this blueprint that we've been uh, focusing on. How can we use this? in an easy way, <laughs> to make our lives flow like magic and have those experiences where things just click and we go, wow, amazing. I can't believe that happened to me. I can't believe I manifested that. I can't believe I got that opportunity and now everything has changed. How do we do it? Well, numerology is a it's funny when you said the word numerology, I just have this huge smile on my face. I just love mm. it so much. Uh, <laughs> because, too, there's, it's really easy to learn and to um, assimilate because really there's only nine prime numbers, and so it's easy to, first of all, you can start recognizing numbers from your guides and angels. You'll see them on license plate. Once you understand what these numbers mean, they're, they're um, messages for you. But it's, more importantly, your birth date um, 
it's very similar to astrology. It's a sister science to astrology, but way easier to understand and implement in a lot of ways. So we have um, a life path number, which is based on our birth date. We basically add the numbers of our birth date and reduce that to a single digit. And um, when we when we find our life path number, which is akin to your sun sign number, it helps you really understand what you're meant to do. So for instance, you are a five life path. Now five life path, one of the main themes of a five life path is freedom. That's me. Yeah, that's my exactly. one of my full values. It, that's it's one a of key my word. It, it's mm-hmm. huge, right? Like you, that's why you live your whole life, like do everything you do now, right? For freedom. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, you want to liberate other people too. So five is that's also right. the number of the revolutionary, like uh, Malcolm mm. X was a five life path. A lot of um, revolutionaries have the five yes. life path because four yeah. is the number of stability and five is the number that comes along and shakes up the status quo and does something new, which is, of course, and actually, look at this. This is how incredible numerology is. If you add up the, if you, um, our alphabet, you can put it on like one through nine, and the letters N, E, and W, which spell the word new, are all fives in our alphabet. Oh, new I is see. the yeah, 14th but, letter, wow. E is the fifth letter, and W is the 23rd letter. They are literally yeah. all number five, new. <laughs> it's crazy. So uh, it, you I mean, you can look at um, all of the letters. They all have this like incredible synchronicity um, with with numbers. So you know, DMV. They're all number four. Four is stability, structure, like oh, right. Routine, you know, Fox. Government offices. Yeah, yeah. And Fox. F O X. They're all number six, and that's all like you know. Fox uh, have, are known for their dens and their. Home life and six oh, is the number of like domestic bl- like all of this stuff. It's crazy <laughs> how it lines up. It's like it ties the whole universe together. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It makes you like kiss the sky and say thank you, universe, for being so deliberate about everything you do. Nothing is random. So the thing about the number five is the the um. So what happens is, let's say you're a five life path, and which you are, by the way. And um, but for everyone listening, and you're a five life path, and you're trying to um. So the the other thing about five is because they like things new and they have to live by their five senses and experience things through their five senses. They have to do things to learn it in a way because they want the experience of it. It's a very experiential number in life path. If you're going to be that person that just says, okay, I'll have one job and there's something wrong with me, for you know wanting to like travel all the time or there's something wrong with me for just wanting to like have you know different jobs or like change my life or or you know I'll, I just yeah, you, you know I'm supposed to have this family and the, and and do the 2.2 with the fence and if you think that's what you're meant to do and you don't know you're a five life path you will be your soul will be crushed inside, and I'm sure you yes. experienced that. Hello and welcome. This is Derry Sparazande, host of the Wealth Revolution. And if you enjoyed that snippet of one of our interviews, I'd invite you to just scroll down for one second and click the link down below. You're going to get access not only to a free gift that's going to double the power of your energy field in just 57 seconds, you're also going to get to be a part of the U.S. Revolution and listen to interviews just like the ones you heard that are happening live right now daily where I interview some of the top healers, teachers, and masters in the field of energy transformation, energy healing, consciousness, ascension, and more. Plus, you're going to get to be on live calls where you'll get your questions answered. You'll get to submit them via webcast. You'll even get to be one-on-one live on the phone and get energy healing help daily. It's all part of what we've been doing. So get up to date, click the link, join, and be a part of it. And if you enjoyed this video or you'd like to see more of it, Click the like button or subscribe. I always upload new content and I give weekly energy updates. So please let us know how we can serve you. And thanks for watching and being in my life. Much love.